Hi, in this movie we will talk about data sampling. Data sampling is the next important step after data preparation. We should select a target variable. It should be a variable with only two categories, and in our case, the good category is a category with a low credit risk. This step may vary depending on a number of borrowers in your portfolio. After the data has been prepared, we have the whole data set without anomalies, flawless data. It is important to use the most actual data, since, for example, data from 10 years ago cannot be used to predict a current risk of a client with the same characteristics. We need to divide the whole data set into two special subsets, training subset, validation subset. The first one, so-called training subset, will be used to train our scoring model. That means that we use our algorithms to find out scorecard points using data of the training subset. The second one, validation subset, will be used for validation purposes. It will later help us check the stability and classification correctness of a complete scorecard. There is a basic rule, according to which 80% of a portfolio should be allocated to the training subset and 20% of the portfolio to the validation subset. But it's not an unbreakable rule. Here in Plug and Score Modeler, we can manually change this value. These values can be changed according to circumstances. Sometimes we can use more powerful techniques called bootstrapping to validate a scorecard. The validation subset is divided into a number of the same size, smaller subsets. Here we can choose their number. Having applied the scorecard to these subsets, we then compare Gini coefficients and error matrices. We will talk about these characteristics in detail in our next movies. So let's continue to consider the training subset. We need to have enough good and bad rows in the training subset. The percentage of defaulting clients in the real loan portfolios usually ranges from 3% to 12%. Consequently, stratification is a way to choose the training data set for modeling. 30% of bads and 70% of goods should be basically used for the training data set. However, it may vary depending on a project data as well as the size of the training data set. Although the logistic regression could be applied for small data sets, 600 to 800 rows, to build a correct scorecard, which would be a good classifier, it is preferable to include from 2,000 to 4,000 rows into the training data set. We'll talk about variables, models, and risk issues in our next videos. We will also consider a stability check carried out using characteristics of validation subsets. If you have any questions, please contact us at contacts at pluginscore.com or on pluginscore.com or by the phone on your screen. Thank you for your attention.